Look at temperatures as you step out the door late this evening. We are sitting out at 45 in Longview, 44 in Marshall, 46 for Nacogdoches, 47 over in Jacksonville, 45 for Athens, 50 still in Mineola. Compared to this time yesterday, we're running about the same, maybe slightly cooler in a couple of spots, slightly warmer places like Jacksonville right now, but for the most part, pretty similar temperature wise compared to this time yesterday. So for tonight, we will drop down to the upper 30s to low 40s with mostly clear skies. Patchy fog can certainly develop after uh, in particular after midnight tonight. So be on the lookout for that as winds calm down to the west at calm to five miles per hour. Now, as we head throughout your day on Monday, we are going to see a lot of sunshine out there. But first, we may have to deal with some fog through about nine o'clock in the morning, but lots of sunshine into the afternoon should allow us to warm for the most part into the upper 60s. Some of us may reach the lower 70s. We do have a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms though as we head into the day on Tuesday. So tomorrow Monday is going to be dry. Monday night into Tuesday, some showers, maybe a thunderstorm will be possible. That activity will not be severe, but as we head into Tuesday afternoon, we will be watching that risk for strong to severe thunderstorms in the yellow. That's the slight risk, which is a level two out of five, which means that a few strong to severe thunderstorms certainly are possible for us. And then there's a, a lower end chance in the marginal risk in the green for places like Mineola down to Athens and Palestine. I will note that the greatest threat stays off to the east, but still tornadoes and large hail and damaging wind gusts will all be possible here in East Texas, especially especially the closer uh, to Louisiana that you get. As we head into Monday, we see a high pressure system move on in. That keeps the winds calm, but as it moves off to the east, winds will turn to the south out ahead of that, uh, behind that high pressure system. We'll see some showers and storms develop heading into your Tuesday morning. But Tuesday afternoon and into the evening, we'll have to watch very closely here. You can still see Futurecast keeps most of the heavy rain off to our east, uh, but we'll have to watch for where these storms develop here in East Texas because they will develop here most likely and they could get strong enough to produce severe weather before they cross over into Louisiana. And then the cold front moves in a Tuesday night. We'll cool things off big time heading out behind the cold front. I'm talking about going from highs in the 70s Tuesday to highs in the 50s by the day on Wednesday. In terms of rainfall totals for the month of November, we have made up a lot of the deficits and it's certainly been good news, uh, but still we have a departure from average for Longview and in Lufkin, but we've picked up nearly four inches in almost all of our uh, climate locations. So it's it's been a good month for rainfall in November, and I do expect improvements on the drought situation. As we take a look at your seven day forecast, we will see uh, those storms mainly in eastern portions of our area Tuesday afternoon, and then we'll dry things out and cool things off for Wednesday and then warm up again heading into the weekend. For DP Texas, it will be more of the same. Look for those rain and storms for the day on Tuesday.